P015-IT. I never knew you got letters in the classification, but uh, let's see, bro. Young man is in the middle of one of his regular night jogs through the- Hey, bro, that nigga kind of beefy, bro. His arms kind of swole. Kind of like mine, you know what I mean? Boy, you're kind of crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, uh, park. He loves running through this park at night. It's dark, the air is cool, and the sounds of the city that surround the park disappear, offering peace, quiet, and a small reprieve from the busy world. He jogs along a path that winds through the park and starts upon a section that is surrounded on both sides by tall trees. He follows the path around a sharp bend and is stopped in his tracks. Standing there in the middle of the track. All right, Igor. Fuck out of here, short ass fucking legs. <laughs> yeah, that nigga legs is short and got a long ass hunchback. All right. He like a uh, Hotel Transylvania bull. He built like a T-Rex. Like, no, 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 like a Tyrannosaurus. Why his torso so long? How you wear a 28 by 28 and wear a size extra large T-shirt? And his long, <laughs> his arms, bruh. All right, bull, bull, like, relax. That shit. Eh. Is a figure. It has its back to him and isn't moving. He's tall and so uniformly black that he almost so disappears into the black. night. Whoever or whatever this is. He's scared of it, but the creature doesn't move, and neither does he. Move! He's frozen, unsure of what to do, when the creature suddenly turns his head towards him, revealing a pair of bright, glowing eyes. The runner is so terrified he can't even scream. He falls and crawls backwards in the dirt, trying to get away no, from the sir. creature. No, sir. The creature turns its body towards him. Yeah, okay. What the fuck is this nigga teeth, bro? That nigga got rice. What is that? What do they call it? Like little rice grains, bro? That nigga gum's kind of healthy, though. I can't lie. You know? I don't know what that is. That's like reverse Slender Man. That nigga really just a black, gray, shellless creature. He said Persona, Persona. He said he need to brush his dirty ass teeth. <laughs> hey, yo. And begins stepping forward. The runner scrambles to his feet and runs. He's sprinting as hard and as fast as he can. Adrenaline pumping, heart pounding trying to put as much distance as he can between himself and that that thing. His muscles burn, his lungs ache, but he can't stop. Finally, he's back at his house. He bursts through the door, locking and bolting it behind him. His girlfriend is reading on the couch and doesn't understand what's going on. After struggling to catch his breath, he tries to explain what he saw on the path, but his girlfriend just laughs. A giant... You gonna laugh at your man after you come back with a story like that? Aria, 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 Aria. You, you going, you going to laugh like that after, after he tell you a story? Ha ha ha! Face ass nigga. All right, Karen, them bangs dirty as shit. You know, <laughs> you know them bangs not it, bro. And she got the crimson chin, bro. That shit, you her shit. <laughs> Strong, bro. That shit crazy, bro. Like she, that shit, like a can opener. Look like her name, Lydia. Hell no, bro. How you got a fat, long ass chin but small ass ears? Ant man with glowing eyes. He was just seeing things in the dark. Wow. It was probably a dog. Nothing that would justify the panic he was now in. The next day, he's left wondering if he really was mistaken. Those piercing, glowing eyes are burned into his mind, though. Maybe his girlfriend was right, and it really was just a dog. Yes, that must be it. His mind was just playing tricks on him in the dark. Even this is how y'all niggas stand out the window right before a Zoom class, bro. Go to class, nigga. Damn. So he's going to stick to running inside, at least for a little while. But he soon finds that he's having a hard time. He notices that he's running out of breath much quicker than normal. Is he coming down with something? He doesn't feel sick. But then why is he suddenly so weak? Two weeks have passed since he saw something in the park. No one he brought it up to, not his friends, not his co-workers, have ever heard of such a thing. And no one seemed like they believed him either. At this point, he is feeling sure that he really did imagine it. But he can't get that image of whatever it was out of his head. He can't keep running on a treadmill forever, though. He misses his night runs. It's time to get over his fear. He's running through the park again, enjoying the silence and the light breeze on his skin. 
He continues down the path, acutely aware that he's getting closer and closer to the spot. You not slick, bro. You got the AirPods in. All right, for sure, shorty. I see you. Nigga, swag it, swag it. Where he saw that thing before. He can't stop, though. He has to prove to everyone that he's not afraid. He has to prove it to himself. Yeah, I was about to say, he proving it to himself. He not proving it to nobody because don't nobody even believe him. But, bro, y'all don't see him losing weight over this, bro? Like, somebody get him help. Y'all are wild. You don't got no good friends. He reaches the part of the path that runs through the tall trees. Just like before, the sounds of the city melt. Oh, that nigga in Italy, bro? That is so random. Melt away. The only sound coming from his steady, heavy breathing. He follows the winding path and feels his heart starting to race. But he has to keep going. He rounds the same corner and nothing is there. He slows to a stop. Of course nothing is here. Nothing ever was. He really did imagine it. Or did he? <laughs> Bonjour. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Look, 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 look. I ain't even get scared for real. You know, I would just be in a reactor, bro. I just, I, I just be in a reactor, bro. <laughs> Yo, he bit the shit out of him, bro. And that nigga said, no. Nah. <laughs> Hell no, bro. Hell Imagine no, it. bro. Or did he? Yeah, Why well, that nigga come out of nowhere like this? Buongiorno. Today's file comes from For the Italian the SCP Foundation. SCP-015-IT. Ah. Ah. Also known as ah. the Boogeyman. The Boogeyman? SCP-015-IT. This nigga built like anything, bro. And why, bro, this man stands on his toes. I don't even know what to say, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This nigga look like if you put McDonald's in the microwave for too long, bro. That shit gonna come out as a radioactive mutant, my nigga. Yo, that shit built like a, like a, like a turtle when it come out of its shell and it dies on the side of the road. That shit like a, I don't even know, bro. That's a Jurassic animal, bro. That shit's exotic as hell. I have no idea what even to say that, bro. Why? Bro, and you know what's crazy? His back not even hunched, bro. He just built sturdy like that. You said, what's wrong with standing on your toes? I know all females stand on their toes when they first get out of bed. I don't know why. It's a weird quirk. But nah, like, you know, you see what I mean? Like, he's not standing, like, his feet curvature is just weird. Uh, whatever, bro. Is a humanoid entity that stands just under two meters tall. Its body is devoid of any hair, and its dark black skin absorbs 98% of all light, making oh, that nigga a melanated creature for sure, King. <laughs> yeah. Virtually invisible in low light. Its head lacks a nose or ears, but these missing features are hardly noticed. Because if you see 015 IT, its eyes are what demand all of your attention. <laughs> While the boogeyman's skin is completely black, say six, five, its eyes seven, contain four out light the wound, nigga. organs on the irises, causing long ass neck nigga god damn that shit like it really go crazy that throw is that glizzy goblin nigga them to glow in the dark like a deep sea predator its mouth contains eight pointed teeth on both the upper and lower jaws and a long 28 centimeter <laughs> forked tongue the two tips of its tongue hey my boys my boys what you doing if you know your, your girl your girl just do one of those what you what you, what you doing bro what y'all doing, bro? Each have a hollow, needle-like organ that leads straight into its esophagus. More on what it does with that specialized biological feature soon. Physically, SCP-015-IT is rather slight, See, but it is surprisingly venom. strong and easily able to overpower an adult human. Its skinny arms are much longer than an average human's, and each of its four fingers... Million, you said that's what you're going to tell your John next time you see her? Your neck on, <laughs> your neck on SCP timing? Okay. ...ends in a razor-sharp claw. It has also been shown to be quite resistant to physical injuries and possesses the ability to heal wounds and damage to internal organs at a hyper-accelerated rate. The black shy guy, shy SCP guy's brother. SCP-015-IT is primarily active at night, which is unsurprising given its skin's natural camouflage in the dark. The boogeyman hunts mammals, with humans being its preferred prey. But it does not feed on flesh. Instead, SCP-015-IT draws its sustenance from the adrenaline and noradrenaline produced by its quarry. Adrenaline and noradrenaline are chemicals the body produces to increase heart rate, blood flow, and provide more energy to the muscles in moments of stress, or in the case of SCP-015-IT, extreme fear. And it has developed a hunting method to cause this exact reaction in humans. 015-IT will usually hide in dark spots, 
trying to keep out of sight as much as possible as it stalks its next victim. If it has been able to remain unseen, it will wait for a moment when its prey has become distracted so it can silently approach them. Once close enough, it will leap towards its unaware victim, grab them, and quickly bite them on the side of the torso, near where the adrenal gland is located. It uses its large teeth to anchor its mouth in place as it uses the needles on its forked tongue to probe oh, into their body. What is with one needle, that? it pierces directly into the adrenal gland and begins draining the blood that is now rich with fear-induced adrenaline. At the exact same time, the other needle releases a mild sedative, allowing 015IT to feed and then depart without risk as the victim remains immobile. Another anomalous effect occurs when someone is unlucky enough to actually see the boogeyman. Roughly two weeks after observing the creature, the person who saw it will begin experiencing various detrimental mental effects, including hallucinations and panic attacks. Some will also begin to experience physical issues, most often damage to the cardiovascular system. It is unknown why exactly these mental and physical effects occur, but it is theorized that SCP-015-IT may use it as a way to weaken certain prey that it considers too strong or potentially dangerous. In 2011, the Boogeyman was... <laughs> Yo, they got that nigga tied up. Bro, SCP Foundation's some freaks, bro. Why they rope him up like that? Yo, what in the world? Why, bro, y'all could've just... Okay. They contained. Who the fuck, not... yo? Who wrapped him up with rope? Who decided that rope was the ample... Okay. Not by the SCP Foundation. The Brotherhood of St. George's Knights is a secret order in the Catholic Church that was created by the Pope in the year 453 to either contain or eliminate all anomalies. And it was this group- Oh, it wasn't SCP, it wasn't SCP, it wasn't SCP. IT, which they designated as DIA-212, in line with their own classification system. While it was in their containment, they made a number of discoveries about the creature that they labeled as a shadow demon. First, they found that while it feeds on the fear of its victims by ingesting their blood, it doesn't actually require this to survive. DIA-212, as they call it, is an unstable entity and feeding allows it to maintain its physical shape in our reality. In addition to its impressive physical strength, the boogeyman is also quite intelligent, as seen by its ability to successfully hunt, attack, and escape from humans. Strangely, it also appears to be resistant to weapons which have been blessed, causing only a fraction of the physical damage that they should when compared to a similar non-holy that version. was a fail. During the course of research into the creature, Father Ilardi, a member of the Brotherhood of St. George's Knights, wrote that despite the creature being repugnant beyond every limit, he believed that it had a gentle soul and that its screams are similar to a pained cry. He postulated that SCP-015-IT may have even once been a human before some dark force transformed it into the monster that it had become. He decided that it was his mission to find a way to communicate with the creature and one day bring it back into the light and love of his god. Father Ilardi was making good progress with the creature and it seemed like it was even growing fond of him and his What is wrong with you niggas? Oh my god, Disciples. bro. But his advances were halted when they were attacked by a group of soldiers from the Fascist Council of the Occult, a terrorist group that seeks to use anomalies as weapons in their <sighs> quest to disrupt the social order. In the attack, several of the Brotherhood were killed, and in the commotion, SCP-015-IT escaped. Following this, reports soon began to come from the province of Caserta that described what sounded like vampire attacks. A mobile task force was sent to the area, and while 015-IT was initially able to make use of its various physical abilities to evade and escape capture, it was eventually shot with a transmitter that allowed it to be tracked. The Italian mobile task force was able to surround the creature, but fearing being contained again, it responded with a level of violence that it had not been thought capable of. Several members of the task force were killed in the line of duty before the boogeyman could finally be subdued. Today, SCP-015-IT is contained at Site Vittoria in the Emilia-Romagna region of Italy. Since this anomaly is both sentient and highly unpredictable in its behavior, it has been classified as Euclid. Euclid. It is kept in a standard humanoid entity containment cell and is monitored by video cameras and infrared sensors at all times. Due to the light absorbing properties of its skin, its cell and the adjacent corridors are painted white and are to be kept well lit at all times. 
Twice a day, SCP-015-IT is given a normal domestic pig that it is allowed to feed on. Any personnel assigned to 015-IT duty must undergo a psychological assessment on a weekly basis and, regardless of the results, must be cycled out after three months of exposure to the boogeyman. Now go and watch another entry from the files of Dr. Bob and be sure to subscribe as we... Interesting, interesting, interesting. I... This nigga is really the, the reverse shy guy. That's crazy. That's wild.